Well, hey, everybody, and welcome back to your next cast. Thank you so much for checking out another episode. I appreciate you stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed a wonderful Thanksgiving and got some good shopping in as well. I know I did some good shopping online, which you're going to see some of that uh, a little bit later. Today I am out in Lake of the Woods, and I am going to be fishing with uh, a lure I got from a friend of mine named Joe at Parabellum Fishing. Uh, this Parabellum bait, this is a fire crawl um, custom painted bait custom painted bait that he did uh, I wanted in a giveaway uh, a little while back and you've seen me fish uh, with one of the lures he gave me which was a 13 fishing cranking bait and uh, I've had a lot of success this year with cranking like I think I've caught easily a hundred or more fish on just a variety of different crank baits uh, this year and I've cranked more this year than I ever have uh, before so it's been really good so today I really want to dedicate this video to Joe and hopefully Joe we will catch a bass or two with this custom um, bait that you've given me. I have about 54 minutes to fish before I got to be off the water. And the goal is going to try to be to get three bass if we can. So I'm going to go put this guy on, head to the spot. Here we go. Wow, this thing looks great coming through the water. I'm going to let you get a look at it out of the pack. How great that lure looks. Joe did an awesome job. He even got his name on the bottom of it it's really cool so we've gotten to a good spot we got wind pushing us down so i'm hoping that we run into one run into something that's going to be hungry i don't know because it's really cold like it was 34 degrees when i woke up this morning and i was like there's no way i'm going fishing like there was actually ice in the bottom of the boat when I got when I went outside today and normally that's a clear sign that I'm not going fishing because if you did not know I am a fair weather fisherman like I don't enjoy being frozen uh, when I'm fishing Got a bite, but haven't been able to get anything else. We got a great drift going. Just don't know if this is the tech, the best technique to do it today. And sometimes, you know, that's the downside about going with one lure and fishing it, is that you're saying, hey, I gotta figure out a way to make this work today instead of saying, hey, what do, the, what do the fish want today? So it's a different way of fishing when you're just going out to practice with one lure. You just gotta find a way to make it work, find out where you can go. Right now, I'm just trying to fish in the open, shallow open water, just because all the leaves and debris are making it really hard. When I cast, something hit it that makes me feel good Got him. 
feels pretty big too, guys. Yes. Yes. Come on, Titus. Don't lose him, buddy. Don't lose him. Man, this rod is doing well. Don't. Don't. Oh, it's a big one, guys. It's a big one. It's a big one. It's a tub. Oh, my land. Joe from Parabellum Fishing. Wait till you see this. Woo. Joe, thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. This is a tank of a fish. That, that might be five pounds right there. Let's get a close up, Joe, for your lure. Parabellum fishing right there. Man, that thing loaded up nice. All right, we're definitely gonna take some pictures and stuff. So I'm gonna get this hook out real quick. Oh man. And then I'm gonna uh, get this guy back in the water so he stays good and healthy. And then uh, we'll, do, we'll do our other stuff that we wanna do. Oh. What a monster. <laughs> oh my goodness, what a monster. Try to get us in some good sunlight here. But that baby is a tank. A tank. Woo. Hang on, buddy. Hang on, hang on. Andy is strong. I think this is a five pounder. I think it's close. If it's not a five, it's close to five. I don't weigh a lot of five pounders, so I might be off. Come on. Ooh, I'm way off. First reading says four pounds, three ounces. Second reading jumped right back to four pounds, three ounces. I was way off on that. Maybe I was a little too excited. But four pounder, still a beauty of a fish. Excellent bat. I mean, that thing is just, I mean, a tank of a fish. All right, underwater release, here we go. Take a look at that one more time. All that beauty. All right, buddy, let's get you underwater. gang i'm hoping my gopro is back um doing that underwater release was probably not the smartest thing <laughs> to do because i had a bunch of gopro issues after that so we killed about a good 25 minutes just working with that and then i was just like you know what we'll let it go so yeah, i think it's dried off pretty good hopefully you can hear me well now um we've done a little bit of fishing haven't done anything else haven't gotten any more bites came down to the last spot i wanted to try out um, just to see if we can get one more yeah, and that, that four pounder was just, goodness, unexpected, but I'll take it. You know, even if I don't get two more, I'll take that four pounder all day. I still got confidence in the lure. Uh, and you got to love fishing this time of year just because, you know, that's when you can get a big one. You know, it's not a lot of people out. Water's not too cold, even though it was pretty cold today. And you just got to keep casting. And this is probably not the best technique for today's conditions, but you know, persistence pays off and sometimes you gotta find a way to make it work. I'm actually starting to sweat at this point because I have so many layers on. That's a fish. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get in here. Woo. Yes, another one. Not as big, but still just as pretty. Don't do it, buddy. Don't do it, buddy. Don't do it, buddy. For both of our sakes. Don't do it. I know you're probably nervous watching this saying, Titus, you're scaring me with those treble hooks. Believe me, I'm scaring myself. 
right now too. I'm just praying that this goes well and doesn't turn into a disaster video of, you know what, why am I even doing that? Let me just get the flyers. You know, sometimes we make bad choices. This is the life lesson for today. Sometimes we make bad choices and we know we're making bad choices. And it's like, why am I making this bad choice? I don't have to make this bad choice, but I'm making it. All right, got that out. Good. Now let's get the fish and the lure together. Bam, there we go, we got it. Thank you again, Joe. There's a fish, let's get him back in the water. This is when I wish I had a photographer on the boat because these would be some great images with the background we got going. It would be awesome. All right, so we're gonna keep floating. We still haven't hit pole 22 yet and I feel like there ought to be a good fish on pole 22. I'm gonna be really mad if my GoPro hasn't captured all this though. I can't tell you how frustrating that is. So for those of you that don't do YouTube um, or don't do YouTube and fish, you know, it's, it's very hard to capture the magic of the whole thing in one fail shot like I've done on these two today, hopefully. Um, there's a lot of times where I catch a fish, don't get it on film. Um, it, it doesn't come through right, sound messes up, the, the frame freezes for whatever reason. Um, and that's pretty frustrating because I've caught some nice fish that that happened on. So it just happened. <laughs> I was talking and as I was talking, it just went straight out. So that's what happens when you're trying to fish and make YouTube videos. So not only do I miss some fish catches, but I probably also miss a lot of fish just because the time I could be spend, could spend fishing, many times I'm actually trying to get the GoPro footage right or going back and looking at the footage to make sure it's there. So I just went back and looked at what we just caught and it is there, so I'm happy about that. But again, that takes a good, you know, 10 minutes to do sometimes. And that's 10 minutes I could have been fishing. I mean, that's another 20 cast I could have made. But anyway, enough of my gripe, and I'm happy about what we got. We got to get one more. And we're doing pretty good on time, so I feel good about that. We got about 17 more minutes. No, gang, I got hung. Please let me get this thing back. Please let me get it back. Please let me get it back. I don't know what I'm hung on. No. No way. No way. This wind is not helping at all. Well, that's it, gang. How about that? I'm so sorry, Joe. Like, caught me a four pounder, though. I mean, it's worth it. It's well worth it. Caught a four pounder and another small guy. Um, if we had caught that first fish we got, that first bite, that would have been three. Oh, man. I'm so sorry, Joe. I feel so bad. I hate losing lures, but definitely one that was custom painted and given to me. But that's fishing, ladies and gentlemen. I know you, you typically see the highlights and you see great things and fish catches and whatnot, but fishing is unfortunately losing some lures sometimes, um, even ones you care about a lot. So that's it. I'm done for today. I'm going home. Um, man, man. Oh, that hurts. And I didn't even get a chance to go try down there. And I bet it would have been good. That hurts. Anyway, I'm going to be thankful. I'm going to be grateful because it is a season of Thanksgiving. It's always a season of Thanksgiving. 
thank you to everybody who watches and who has subscribed and who has enjoyed this video please leave a thumbs up if you have um, and go check out Joe please go show him some love um, for sure a link to his channel is right down below that's gonna do it for today um, I feel like there's more I want to say but there's, there's nothing else I can really say hope you enjoy the beautiful colors hope you have a good day and a good night and a good weekend we'll see you next time